What's up everybody? In this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over with the Yak Attack Black Pack Pro. This is the 13 by 13 one, and I have it on the Light Tackle too. I will be quick with this one. I did do a full assembly and unboxing video. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video if you guys wanna go check that out. I'm gonna kinda go over this thing and show the functionality and how impressive this thing is. It came with these rod holders, so it has three rod tubes. What's the most impressive about these rod tubes? Very easily to install with a setting like this. And then check these hooks out. So you see that hook that goes on there? That is a bungee to keep your rods from falling out. So if you do flip over, you're not gonna lose all your rods. And you can see how easily it just hooks on right there. So I have my spinning reel and I have two bait casters back here and it works very well on that. So while I'm sitting in the kayak, I can reach around, grab one of the rods pretty easy, unhook the hooks and get the rods off. Or I could go back here and open this up and check it out. So sitting in the kayak, I can reach back and open it up and I have all of my, my these are the Plano 3600 boxes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes aligned in the vertical way like that. And I have two of the small Planos, some fish uh, grippers, some hook re a hook remover, and I have a full on Bass Mafia kind of money bag, fully loaded with plastics and random things down in there. I'm very impressed on, and this is all I'm pretty much holding. I, and like I said, this is the smaller one, the 13 by 13, but these handles also kind of or have a dual purpose to run a omni clip inside the handles but then they also have these little hooks here so let's say you didn't have omni hooks on your kayak look how it just how the bungee kind of locks in these little hooks is that not cool what a cool feature that works out that works out really good on that check out how i did it with this these omni clips on this crescent boat i basically just run it on the bungee and then it hooks into place and look how sturdy that is on there. By the way, you can get some grid lock mighty mounts that go up here. There's several accessories. I'll leave links below where you could pick up one of these boxes or where you can pick up several accessories, but I just kind of wanted to show y'all real quick on how I have it set up. I usually run three rods up there, then two in the front that I'm usually casting and I'll have a rod holder here and a rod holder there. So I don't need a lot of rod holders back here on the sides and the back. Just this right here works fine, but you can buy additional rod holders and really deck this thing out. You guys leave in the comments below what you use as far as a fishing crate, or if you've used the Black Pack Pro, what your opinion is on it and what you think about if you're it. you're a kayak angler and you wanna get out on your kayak and you need a place to put your baits, highly recommend the black pack pro so yeah that's all i got everybody let's do some fishing let's get out of here check this out is this not awesome look how crystal clear let's go do some um trout fishing that's a river up there so let's get out of here Woo!